So how do you break the DLC in Fire Emblem Engage? Well, the first thing to do is generally to just run DLC. That breaks the base game, but how do you break the DLC? Let's say you're having a hard time with Divine Paralogs. Well, then this guide, if you want to call it a guide, <laughs> is for you. So all you have to do is funnel all of your XP and kills, or at least most of them, into a Leer, Chloe, and you can occasionally get kills in other units, that's fine. If you don't want to, you know, some of the early game maps are easier if you just allow other units to get a few kills here and there. But power level, Leer and Chloe, use Fram, you can run Jean. Both of these were not power leveled at all, and all they did was just heal things the entire time. You can run Saline as an optional utility as well, like utility damage dealer. I should have upgraded her fire to Elfire, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and then what you end up with are these crazy powerful units that can easily breeze through all the DLC uh, Divine Paralogs. Now this is before Chapter 7, but I have done Anna's Paralog to promote Chloe into a Tiki Torch, no, into a Wyvern Knight. So here are her stats right now. You also want to start getting Star Sphere early. So I always throw Star Sphere on Chloe, get her Lance Power, uh, get Star Sphere on as many units as humanly possible. All the units you plan on running, you should be using Star Sphere on. Uh, and then essentially what the Divine Paralogs do is they help power level you even more. And as long as you don't level up the rest of your team, it'll use low stats on the enemies and you can easily beat these missions with pretty much anything. So for example, I can just chill out here. And if I want to add more insult to injury, I can do stuff like chain guarding. So that way I can get free XP. Cause you don't get XP for getting hit, right? You get XP for a uh, certain combat. If you, if the level difference is high enough, like if they have higher, like more levels up, more levels on you and you get XP from killing. All right, so in this case, you get a little bit of XP from counterattacking. This particular enemy is the fastest one here. So after we kill this, I should be enemy phasing pretty effectively. But they have no chance of killing me. My stats are way too high on my power carries and on these other utility units. You can do things like double chain guard too. So like say they could attack your chain guarder, you just chain guard the chain guard. <laughs> these are the tactics you're here for. I know why you're here. I know, I know who you are. <laughs> I know who you are. I know why you're here. You're here to see how to break the game. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're, see maybe you're here to see Tiki give people the evil eye as you stab them on a wyvern. That could be all another potential reason. Look at that. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> like, it's so... The DLC paralogs can be hard if you evenly level up your team. I will say that. I'm not trying to say that they're easy. Like, obviously, I accidentally discovered this method of breaking them consistently by doing a five-man run, which should have been harder, but instead it was easier, which is very weird. So it ended up being the case that a five-man run breaks DLC plus base game, and all you have to do is just beat all your Divine Paralogs early, and then you'll end up with crazy units, all these extra emblem rings, all these extra stat boosters and items, and then you can unlock a ton of stuff and snowball certain units, and then by the time you get other units, you just have like a bunch of gods on your team <laughs> that the enemies can't do anything to. So it's pretty silly, but it's life, you know. That's life for you. But the easiest way to break the DLC is just to keep your units low level, like all most of your units low level, and then just power level two to three units, and then just use them to completely destroy everything in front of them. And you still get XP on these maps too, on these units, which is even crazier. Like right now I have two like level 15 units before I even go into chapter seven, and they could probably solo the map each. Like if I just ran one of them, they could just easily solo the map. Like archers won't even be able to hurt her, She's at 14 defense right now, so even with effective damage, the enemy archers have like, <laughs> I don't even know, like 15 to 17 might? They're gonna do like nothing to her. So I'm not even worried. I'm not worried at all. And neither should you be. Neither should you be worried. Alright, let's kill this guy with a bow and arrow. If I have it. I don't have it yet. Unfortunately. <laughs> I need... Or do I? Well, let me... Okay, it'll let me use Fallen Star. So I don't have Fail Not yet unlocked, but I can Fallen Star. Just as the combat art. <laughs> Crits, I'm just like critting. Like, this is maddening, believe it or not. It's it's crazy how easy it is to break. It's funny how it's easy to break the base game by running DLC, and it's easy to break the DLC 
by just running few units. And with those two things in mind, you can make you can give yourself essentially the easiest maddening run imaginable. Now, one thing to consider: do not do the fell xenologue before getting all your divine paralogs done, because it will give you a bunch of level twenty units, and that will change the level scaling so that it'll actually be against you. There'll be a bunch of high level enemies in the divine paralogs that will destroy you. So if you just want to get all the emblem rings or create like a master save file, which is essentially what I'm doing right now, all you have to do is beat all the divine paralogs and you'll end up with some crazy units that basically guarantee your success in the base game, which is unfortunate. Uh, it's kind of, I feel like they just implemented the DLC poorly. I like the new stuff. It's just that I have a hard time wanting to use it because it's so powerful. Uh, but. If you create a master file, you can do the fell xenolog to get all those characters, and then you can have all of this, you can have all the DLC emblem rings, fell xenolog done, you can just create a master save file, so whenever you want to try out, you know, mage, cannoneer, or enchanter combos, or teams, or the DLC units, then you can do that. So that's that's what I'm actually doing, I've, sp I've spent 10 hours so far <laughs> just on this save file, and it's not like it's taking long, like I'm blazing through the content, it's just that... There's so many, like, paralogs and all these divine, you know, there's normal paralogs, divine paralogs, all this stuff in the Somnial and min-maxing, and it, it's just taken me 10 hours so far. So I've done Tiki's just recently, and I'm on chapter, I did Jean's and Anna's paralogs. Um, so you're better off just doing this if you're going to do it. Es essentially, if you're going to be running Fel Xenolog characters, you're going to be, if it's either... You don't do the Divine Paralogs and it makes it harder. You do them mid to late game because you're probably going to have statistics against you instead of for you. Um, or you can just skip them. Like if you just want to run the Fel Xenolog characters and you don't want to break the base game. The thing is though, like if you beat the Fel Xenolog on normal mode on a Maddening run, which you can do, like just to unlock the new characters, they're like level 20. <laughs> so... So it's like no matter what you do, no matter which way you interact with the DLC, in some way it gives you like this massive advantage, and I think that's just really unfortunate because what what you should be able like what you should be able to do is to just use the new characters early at a low level so that you can build them up, and for the other DLC like the Divine Paralogs, uh, I think it should I think both should be you just beat them once outside of the main game and then you get the stuff, and then you can choose how much of it you use, kind of like how Three Houses handle it. I honestly think Three Houses handled DLC very well. I know some people like didn't like Cinder Shadows, but at least it was fair and balanced. There wasn't room for completely breaking it. The devs had complete control over what you had access to. It was like it wasn't really hard, but you know, if you just wanted to beat it to unlock the characters, you could easily do that. Um, and then you could have them on all your save files. So I just think they did a, a poor implementation of the DLC in terms of how it gives you xp in terms of all the resources and stuff like this like i have it's, it's legitimately difficult to do a dlc run without it breaking the main game in some way and people have done tons of different challenge runs where you know ultimately your power level just increases so much and the base game doesn't scale with you in any way not that that would be better i, th I think they should be more strict with xp and levels I, th I think that would kind of help but i don't know how much it would help uh, but, yeah, I, I think we're in a situation. <laughs> Let's see. He loads star. Alright, nice. Dude, look at this. Fram dealing damage. What? And then we'll last hit with Saline. The Saline solution. But yeah, if you want to break the DLC, Divine Paralogs, just run few power level units, do them early. It's that easy. And if you want to run a balanced DLC run, honestly, I don't even know how you would do that. Like, you would have to basically beat the DLC maps with power carries and then stop using them. So that way you don't have these power carries that just completely destroy all of the early and middle game. Like having a Chloe this good this early, by the time I hit middle game, she's going to be so cracked, she could solo maps entirely, like so easily. Same thing with like a Leer. If I just keep power leveling both of these units, they could easily just solo the entire maps without even relying on like, you know, dodge tanking or Whatever, they just, they just have high speed, you don't get doubled, you have high defense, you just one round everything, like it's just crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. I basically accidentally discovered how to break the uh, DLC by doing a five man run, but feel free to use it if you want to break the game as well. <laughs> Peace.